it is Burnley nil, Manchester United won. Manchester United finally collected three points, guys. Oh, three points. It's been a long time since we've had that, you know. It's been a very, very, very long time. But Manchester United today, oh, you know, we got the points. What the performance, guys? It was absolutely disastrous at times. Especially in the first 45 minutes. That first half, Manchester United looked like lost as well. Can you imagine? Burnley. Berlin, you know, possessing us. Majority of the time, dominating possession against Manchester United. Big, bad Manchester United, guys. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe it at times. My eyes was like, what am I seeing? Like, this is just unbelievable. We thought we was going to go there as a Manchester United fan and dominate the game. But hell no. Hell no, we didn't do that at all. We fucked up. We fucked up at times, man. Manchester United can do way better than this, man. But guess what, guys? I'm just happy to get three points because, oh, it tastes so good. Oh, God. Let me go straight to that game because overall, you know what my thought is? The first 45 minutes, Manchester United was trash, you know. Burnley dominating possession against Manchester United. Manchester United couldn't win the midfield battle once again. And that's why I always say, and I always say all the time, we need to win. The, ball, um, the midfield game, the midfield battle. And we do just do, do not do that. You know, a midfield with McTominay, Hannibal, and also Casemiro. A bit of legs there as well. But still, was it enough for against Burnley? Burnley, as well, they're quite lucky because Manchester United scored a goal. VAR took it off. Johnny Evans from a set piece from Regulon as well, corner. And I was about to celebrate our first set piece, you know, because it's been so long since we've seen that, guys. But referee took it out because, of course, Hoyland was obstructing the goalkeeper Trafford. Then again, Manchester United said, you know what? Hold my beer. I'm going to do something. And guess who scored? Bruno Fernandes coming to save the day. Of course, look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful long ball from Johnny Evans. Because Johnny Evans said, no, ref, you're not going to spoil my night. You know, I'm feeling good today. So let me give this to Bruno. Bruno over the ball, over the top, Bruno sees it, and bang, what a beautiful volley by Bruno Fernandes, guys, oh, what a sweet goal, I was screaming like a girl, I was like, ah, what a goal, Bruno Fernandes, oh, the GA is Mr. GA, but again, the whole 90 minutes, I thought at times he was rubbish, but he did his thing, he came, scored his goal, and kept it moving, that 1-0 half-time Manchester United, you're thinking, we're going to go out there and start dominating the, the ball as well and actually try and open up Burnley. But no, no. Ten Hag probably set them out to be as defensive as they can be. And they were defensive, guys. We were sitting back against Burnley, trying to hold on to that lead. Like I was disgusted at times. And there was, so, there was opportunities where Manchester United couldn't stretch Burnley and made it 2-0. But the wrong decision. Marcus Rashford, my God. Your, your contribution to the attacking phase of the game is piss poor. Like, it's weak. There's no, there's the IG, the IQ is just low. Like, seriously. Like, what is up with Marcus Rashford? I, I don't know, guys. But Manchester United finally to, able to hold the lead. V seeing Varane come back and number back coming on as well, it's, it's good news. It's good things. Manchester United winning full time, 1 0 against Burnley. Good result. But the performance was shit. The performance was shit, man. We want better than that, man. We expect better than that, you know. Player-wise today, Bruno Fernandes, of course, he scored the winning goal. He he was our hero for today. He His game wasn't all that, but he got the goal. Johnny Evans, mwah, mwah, superb performance today. Just, just involved defensively, winning in the air as well. Getting their last-ditch tackles as well. But again, the assist. He could have had a goal today, but he didn't. Hannibal, I thought today, did okay. Especially in the last 10, 15 minutes, he made a nuisance of himself. Showed his presence as well. Making smart passes as well. Rashford, on the other hand, oh my God, you suck. You had another poor game. Hoyland, could have done better. Casemiro, okay. You know, but nevertheless, the team won. The manager must be happy because he's, there's no stress for him for the next couple of dates until Crystal Palace, guys. Man of the match for me today, I have to give it to Johnny Evans. Oh, what a performance from him, bruv. 
You get me? 35 years old, still got it. Johnny Evans over Harry Maguire any day of the week, you tell me. Guys, you can't tell me shit. Don't give the match Marcus Rashford. He will shit Marcus Rashford again, man. He just is something about him. It's, it's just not right, bro. It's just not right. But, guys, you let me know your thoughts on the game, uh, of this game in the comments. This has been your match reaction as well from your boy, I've worn Spive. Let me know who your money in the matches and your donkey of the matches as well, guys, in the comments as well. And, of course, we are live tomorrow for the for the um, the full reaction with the guys as well. 8 p.m. UK time. So, you guys, make sure you tune in for that as well and watch it. Smash the like button, of always, of course. And as always, as I end the show, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready united. Your boy is out. Peace.